The next part of the lesson is going into solving equations involving squares and cubes of variables. So let's take the example x squared equals 25. In this case, what we are looking for is for what value of x would give me 25 when it's squared. So you're really also you're really looking for the square root of 25. So I'm looking for two numbers when they multiply together are going to give me 25 and I realize that 5 times 5 is going to give me 25. Or I could write it as the square root of 25 equals 5 because really you're taking the square root to cancel that out so that you can get x equals 5. But x could also be a negative 5 because remember I could have, have had negative 5 times negative 5 equals 25. So I really have x equals 5 or a negative 5. The same holds true for cubes. So let's take the example x cubed equals 1,000. So what I could also, I could rewrite this as x cubed equals 10 to the third because I know that 10 times 10 times 10 would equal 1,000. So I'm just going to rewrite this like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually I can actually take the cube root of both sides so that we can cancel out these cubes to get x equals 10.